What's up everyone? So today's video is going to be a full face drugstore makeup. So I actually went on Instagram, Madison Ana Miller, shameless plug, but I went on there and I did a little poll and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a review on the new MAC Cosmetics collection or if you wanted to see a full face drugstore makeup and you guys chose drugstore, like it demolished the other one. I was like, dang. So we have a big bin of all new makeup here. We even have some from a new brand that just launched as well. And then some e.l.f. and L'Oreal and NCLA, Catrice, we have a ton of products in here. I am super excited to be testing these out and seeing how they apply. I have not dabbled in drugstore in a really long time and I definitely wanna get more into it. So comment down below your favorite drugstore brands, your favorite drugstore makeup, I want to test it out, I want to use it, I want to pick it up for myself because I really want to find more affordable makeup for you guys and I really want to eventually do a dupe video of finding high-end stuff of like my holy grail high-end makeup and then finding good dupes that are drugstore and affordable for you guys. So I'm going to be doing research on that for the next couple of weeks. So leave me your recommendations down below of ones that I should pick up and then maybe we could do like a drugstore haul too. But. Yeah, without further ado, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. Also make sure to thumbs up this video if you love drugstore and comment down below your favorite drugstore brands. So let's get into it. All right, so I've got my coffee because it's just really needed right now. I already moisturized my face and I used a Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. This was in the Ipsy bags this month and I've been really enjoying that moisturizer. It actually is really hydrating and really nice, so I've been loving that. And I also use my Tetris Little Lip Balm. I don't know what color this one is, but it's like this coral. And I love these. These are so moisturizing and just I love the coral tint on it, so I just leave it right here on my desk and I just constantly moisturize, moisturize my lips with it. So I wanted to prep and get everything ready, which this used to be sold at Target, I believe. I, I think they took it out, but I remember Laneige, I saw it at my Target for a while and I went to go check online and it's not there anymore. So that's a bummer because I would definitely pick up a full size of this because I really like that. All right, so first things first, we need to prime. So I'm actually gonna use the Catrice Cosmetics Fresh It Up Moisturizing with Bamboo Water. This is Prime and Fine. They're Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer. That's like a lot right there, a lot of names. But I'm gonna use this guy right here. I actually just hauled them this past weekend. And you guys know I love a good hydrating primer. Looks like that. I'm gonna rub it in my hands and I'm gonna press it into my skin. Oh, this is super moisturizing. It's like actually really refreshing. I already did my brows because I didn't have any brow products to try out and to save time. Ooh, I really like that. That feels really good. This would be a really good primer for the summertime, especially if you have like a little bit of a sunburn on your face or whatnot, or you've been in the sun, you just wanna cool it off. That feels, it's actually really refreshing. It's very cooling. Next up, we're gonna blur out some of these pores with the Catrice one. This is Goodbye Pores. Grab a little bit there, and I'm just going to work this in the areas where I have pores, which is right here. So this dress that I'm wearing right now is from Lulu's and I really love it. It's actually one that you wear like off the shoulders like this, like let me show you, boom. But I'm like, you can't see the dress and it looks like I'm naked. So I'm putting the sleeves up like this and I think it works for being on camera, but I don't think it would work if you're like, if people could see like the full thing but um, I really like it. I actually ordered it first in a medium, thinking that was gonna fit, but it was like way too big in this area. So I returned it and I got the small and I really love it. It's like a cute little mini dress and it's like, it's just really flattering. So I've been really into summer dresses just because I hate wearing shorts and whatnot and I've just been loving, loving summer dresses. And Lulu's has some really, really cute ones. I'll link this one down below for you guys. I have a mix of foundations. This is one thing that I really struggled with. I could not find a drugstore foundation in my shade. So I had to go into my previous collection and I really want to use, woo, me always dropping things. I really want to use this Revlon one, but this is going to be too dark for me. I can just tell it's shade 200. I need like a 100. Like, I feel like, wait, could I get it to rub in? Well, wait, this might work for me. It looks really dark in the tube. You know what? I think we can make this work. Oh my God, that makes me so happy, I'm so glad. Cause I mean, it looks a little yellow, but I think we can make this work. So we're gonna use this guy and I'll drag him down just in case, but I think we can make him work. So this one's really nice, it actually has a pump and I'm just going to 
apply it on there. And I'm going to use my sponge. I've really been enjoying using a beauty blender lately to do my foundation. I sometimes go back and forth between brushes and sponges, but I've been really enjoying this because my skin has been so dry. Yeah, I think that's gonna work out perfectly. I don't know if I said the name, but this is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation in the shade 200, so it's a nude. I did get some color from Hawaii and then also from the river, which I mean, you can see my tan line right there. <laughs> it's still like so fair, even with my tan but oh well. This foundation has a really nice natural finish to it. It's not like crazy amount of coverage, which I actually enjoy. I don't like really heavy foundations anymore. I like something that's more wearable for every day. And this feels like it would be very, very nice for every day. I just like, it evens out the skin. It doesn't feel super heavy on the skin either. And the shade is actually working out really well for me. So don't be fooled by the shade right here because this looks darker than what it is. Like, I mean, look at that. It looks so much darker than my actual skin. All right, so I zoomed in a little bit more for you guys because I just remembered I can zoom in with this lens because that's why I bought it. But um, this is the foundation on my skin. I do have some breakouts like over here right now, but it covered them up pretty well. I wouldn't say that this is full coverage. I would say it's more of a light to medium. You can definitely build with it. If you need a little bit more coverage, just add on some concealer and you'll be fine. But it feels really good. It definitely has a natural finish to it. If you are dry, I would definitely make sure that you are moisturizing before putting it on. You still can see just a natural glow that I have in my skin come through it, which is really pretty. I love just how natural looking it is. So super stoked about this guy. I really like him. He could be another like new everyday foundation for me. So I really, really like that. Now let's go ahead and go into some concealer. So I have two concealers already here for underneath the eyes. I have the Makeup Obsessions ones right here, and then I have my Catrice. I kind of want to try the Makeup Obsessions because these are new, and this is a new brand that I've been dying to just like try out. It's just that I'm gonna have to mix. This is the Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal Longwear Concealer with Caffeine. It's vegan and cruelty free right here. This is what the applicator looks like. It's very unique, it's big, really nice. And then this is the shade right there. Oh, I might be okay with this. You know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to apply this and I'm gonna see how it looks underneath my eyes. And then if it's still, if it's a little too dark, I'm gonna go in with the white and mix it up and make it a little bit lighter. By the way, this shade is 04. But I have a feeling this one is gonna be just fine. Yeah, I think this is gonna be fine. Unless it oxidizes, then it's not gonna be fine. So now let's add it to the center of my face, down the nose, right here. Definitely need to add some on my chin because I have like little bumps there. It must have been a product or something that I used because I got these little bumps. And I haven't gotten pimples like that in a really long time. So here's the concealer on my skin right now. It definitely was a good shade for me. It looks like it'd be, again, it looks like it'd be darker, but it comes out lighter. I don't know, I don't know. But I think the color is perfect. It is a little, like I can see I'm already creasing. It's actually a little dry underneath my eyes and it's got light coverage. I wouldn't say that this is a full coverage concealer. Like it says, mega conceal, I don't see that at all. I see it as more as a light coverage and you can maybe build a little bit with it, but it's definitely not full coverage. It's no Tarte Shape Tape. It is a little drying because I can already see I'm creasing like right here. I haven't said it yet, but I can just see that it's dry underneath my eyes. I have to be honest, this is not my favorite concealer. I feel like the lightweightness is really comparable to the Too Faced Born This Way, but that one is actually hydrating underneath the eyes and it's not drying. This one, I can just tell it's a little drying underneath there. It's making my under eyes look older than what they are. So there's that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and set it with this guy right here. This is another thing from Makeup Obsession. It's their Pure Bake Transparent Baking Powder. I don't know if I'm gonna bake with this just because it's white. And I feel like this will look so chalky 
underneath my eyes. I feel like I have to move fast right now with that concealer because I feel like it's so dry. So it has a lid. It doesn't have a sifter. Oh. Seriously? Not a fan of the packaging. Can already tell you that because you have to take that top off because there's no like holes in it. So it just looks like this in here and it literally just gets like everywhere. So I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm going to set underneath my eyes. It is very powdery. Yeah, I would definitely be wary some of baking with this. What's crazy is in person, I'm not seeing like the little white cast like down here and stuff of where I like really push in the powder. In person, you don't see that, but on camera you do. Not a fan. It definitely really mattified my skin really nicely and it feels good. It's just that I can, I feel like I can see like little bits of white. I don't know. I feel like it's coming off on my monitor. I don't know how it's gonna come off like when I look at the footage back. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in with my sponge because it's a little damp. I'm gonna press everything in because I feel like it dried up my face a little bit too much. It's okay, not my favorite. I would think that that Airspun or Cody Airspun translucent powder is honestly a little bit better and you can get like a big thing of it from Walmart. I think that's a little bit better than that. This is not my favorite. I don't like the packaging at all either. Well, so far a miss for Makeup Obsessions. I hope it, things go well for the eyeshadows. I feel bad, but. I'm gonna put some more lip balm on. I love these things. These things are so good. I love this one. I think the purple one is my favorite. All right, so we're gonna go into a little bit of bronzer right now, and I'm gonna do this Give Me Some Sun, and this is also from Makeup Obsession. So these are the colors that we have here. I'm going to swatch two. Okay, I'm gonna take Exposed right here. This is a cooler brown. And I'm going to use this to bronze up my face. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. Wow. Okay, the shade's a little dark for me, but it blends out really, really nicely. I have been having problems with my bronzer lately. Like it's been going on really patchy or just not very good. But this one is actually going on really, really well. It's been going on better than my other bronzers right now. I'm gonna take this brush to blend it out a little bit more, just to tone down that shade because I feel like it's a little dark for me. Oh, I really like that. I like, okay, I like this bronzer. I actually really like that one. That one's really pretty. I'm gonna bring just a little bit up here just to add some depth to the face. A little bit on the side of my nose. I don't really sit here and like contour everything. I don't have time for that. So I just add some shadows back to the face so it doesn't look flat. And I do it really quickly, but I like that. I think that's really pretty. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into buff right here, which is kind of like the same shade, but it's a matte color. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it, but I honestly didn't see the shimmer coming off. So you could totally like contour with that one. But I wanna try buff and I'm just going to add this a little bit in my cheekbones. So this is where I'm gonna kind of just contour a tiny bit, just cause I wanna try it out. Ooh, I have like chiseled cheekbones right now. Again, blend. It's actually really pretty, okay. This is a dope, I like this palette right here. I think this one's really good. And again, I think all their products are under like $10 or $10.99, which is crazy. So we found a product from Makeup Obsessions that I like, and it's the bronzer palette. I think it's really, really pretty. So I really like that one. I need my coffee. I already did set my face, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I would recommend doing this before you do any type of powder. But sometimes if a cream product is really good, it's okay if you set it on top. Like I don't really see much of a problem with it, but hopefully this is okay. So this is the Blush Sticks ColourPop, and it's in the shade 25A. They don't have a shade name on the bottom, but it's this color. I'll see if I can find it. It came from the Peony pack. That's what I know. So I think you have to buy them in a pack of three. I love ColourPop though. I honestly like, their stuff is very, it's I it's so affordable, but the formulas are like high-end makeup. Like it's, I, they never disappoint. I really, really like their formulas. They kill it. That's actually so pretty. 
See, I love this just for the summer. Oh, what I'm doing now is I'm actually just taking my beauty blender and I'm just rubbing it across and pushing it onto my cheeks. I feel like this is a little bit better way to, to apply it since I did powder, but I did not see it move anything around. This is such a pretty color. Guys, definitely check these out. Oh, I love this. See, everyday makeup is I almost would just leave it as this. It's just very fresh looking. Like when you wear a lighter makeup and not anything too heavy or dark, like I feel like when you start wearing stuff like that, it makes you look older. And when you're getting older, you wanna look younger, you wanna look fresher. And that's why I really love just keeping it with a colorful blush on, keeping the powder, like the bronzer light, you know, the lid simple, neutral, and just leave it at that because I feel like it's so youthful looking and it's very flattering. But I think that those would be an awesome like multi-purpose stick if you could do it for your cheeks and your lips. I would totally use this color on my lips too. So I have this e.l.f. palette here that I that is like a blush and highlighter palette. This is the Modern Metals Blush and Highlighter Palette from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. It was actually really easy to open too, which, which is nice. I actually really love this blush color right here. I think that's stunning. I'm eyeing that blush, so I'm actually gonna go into this one. I think this is really stunning. There's quite a bit of kickback on it, just as a heads up. I'm gonna apply that on there. And then I take this brush. This brush is like my holy grail brush. I have two of these. These are the Too Faced Mr. Right ones. This one is like my, oh, it's my all time favorite. I cannot be without it. This blush is super pigmented, like super pigmented. This is another thing I love to do. I love to just go over with my sponge and press it into the skin so it doesn't look like powder is sitting on the skin. That is so pretty. Okay, I like that. All right, so we're gonna go into the highlight of this palette. We're gonna go into this shade right here. Ooh, there we go. I swear, e.l.f. Cosmetics is another one. They do have some products that are misses, but there are a ton of products that are really good and very pigmented, and they're even more affordable than ColourPop, which is crazy. I actually really like e.l.f. skincare too. I've tried quite a bit of products from them from their skincare, like in testing videos, and I've been very impressed by them as well. Like I like their primers, I like their moisturizers, their mask, that metal, ma like magnetic mask is really cool. Like this palette too. Honestly, it will work for any skin tone as well, which is really nice. Okay, so for the eyes now, I have quite a bit of palettes here, but I wanna keep it very simple. I, I don't wanna make it like super bold and dramatic just because I feel like everything that we have going on the face is very fresh looking and very simple. And I want you guys to be able to come back here and like get a neutral, like everyday look from this. So yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might throw in some corals, actually. Corals might be pretty. Um, but we have a quite a bit of um, palettes here from Makeup Obsession. So we have Be The Game Changer. So these are the shades in Be A Game Changer, which are so beautiful. I love this coral right here. I really love coral shades, you guys. Those are some of my favorites. I love it that we have the neutrals in here. That one's gorgeous. Then we have All We Have Is Now. This is another really pretty one. We actually have some blues in here, which might even be fun to play with a little bit, even though I said we're gonna keep it pretty neutral. But if I did blue, it would be like a pop of color, like on the lash line or something, you know? And then we have Be Obsessed With right here, which are some pretty plums and purples. This is very like a fall palette for me, like really, really fall palette. Kind of reminds me of a Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. I didn't get any of those. Um, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. And then we have Be In Love With. This is a very romantic palette, I wanna say. Like you can create really romantic, soft, flirty makeup looks with this one, which are really pretty. These are actually like definitely my color scheme right here for every day. I really love those colors. So I'm honestly probably gonna be picking through a few of these, not knowing really what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna sit here and like brainstorm real quick. Like what should I do on my eyes? I don't know. All right, so first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take the Catrice Concealer and I'm going to prime my eyes with this. All 
All right, so I zoomed you guys even more in so that way we can really get into these eyes and see what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is a Tetris by Ipsy brush, which again, are really, really good. I really like those. I'm gonna go into this palette right here, the Game Changer one, and go into Simple. I'm gonna use this lightly to set my concealer. So I'm just gonna lightly dust this just to make sure it's all nice and set and our colors blend nicely on top and there's like no little wrinkles because I'm a little older, so I have those wrinkly eyelids. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a coral in the crease. I think that will be really pretty. So I've been eyeing this shade right here, which is called Rest. This one is really pretty. It's a really pretty peachy shade. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm going to place this into the crease. It's actually really pretty. Really, really like how this shadow is blending out. I'm actually gonna take a little bit onto the outer portion right here. It's actually really, really nice. I'm also using this Dominique Cosmetics brush right here. I really like this one for the crease. I don't have one like this. It reminds me a lot of a Luxie one that I have, but it's not as dense. So it's very light and it just blends out because it can like, it can just maneuver a little bit easier. So it blends out the edges beautifully. So I really like this brush. And it's also a little bit smaller, so you can really like be more precise with it, which is nice. So I like that. Um, I really wish I had like a peachy shade to go on the inner corner. Let me see if I can find one. I'm gonna use another Dominique Cosmetics brush. This one reminds me a lot of the Okay, so so far Riley is doing okay. She is teething really bad right now, so I told um, the lady for her daycare to let me know if she's getting just really fussy and seems like she's in a lot of pain. I'm gonna come and pick her up because I will drop everything for my baby. Um, so I was like really worried because last night she had a really hard time going down and then this morning it was like happy one second and then crying the next, grabbing her gums, trying to chew and gnaw. So, oh, you guys. I didn't think TV was gonna be so crazy, but it is. I think it just depends on the child. There's no text. Okay, good, we're good. All right, yay, makes me happy. Anyways, I think what I'm gonna do is on the inner corner, I'm actually gonna take Adapt. Well, you know what? I feel like we should clean up this crease. I'm like all over the place right now. So I'm gonna go into that same concealer. I'm putting just a small amount, see? So much better. It's crazy. There's like, I always thought my crease was lower, but it's actually higher. And I learned that from Bailey when she did my makeup a long time ago. She is so good with makeup and she is killing it. I am so, so happy for Bailey, you guys. She has been exploding on YouTube, just everywhere. And it's about time that people have seen her talents and her personality. Like she is so enjoyable and fun to watch. Like she's just a breath of fresh air of just realness. Like she's the type that you just don't know what's gonna come out of her mouth when she's with you. And some of the stuff I'm just like, <laughs> Like this and that's so much fun. Like I love that like she's just you guys know I've done videos with her in the past I've I've just I'm so so happy that people are finally Seeing her and her content's getting pushed and she's just doing so well Like it makes me so excited to see people become successful Especially when I know they work really really hard and they deserve it and with her. I'm just I'm so happy for her I'm sure you guys have already discovered her murder mystery, or murder mystery makeup Mondays. Murder, yeah, it's that type of, I forgot the title, but it's every Monday. And I think she's planning on bringing in another one during the week as well. And I can't wait to see what she does with that series, but I'm telling you, you guys would love her so, so much if you have not found her yet. So check her out, especially if you like the more dramatic look, she's actually a makeup artist. So she's very talented and very artistic, very creative, and then just has an amazing personality and she's absolutely stunning as well. So I love her and I'm so, so happy for her. She's a real one. She is a genuine girl and what you see is what you get with her. She's not fake and she's so kind. I just, yeah, I can rave about her over and over and over again. I'm really, really excited to see where this takes her because she is blowing up and I'm so, so, so excited for her. But um, yeah, so this looks a lot better. I love it because I've really found my crease there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into this one right here, which is called Adapt. I don't know how this is going to work. 
because I'm swatching it and I don't know if it's gonna come off very well to be honest. So I'm actually gonna grab some Fix Plus real quick just because I don't know how this one is going to translate because swatching it doesn't seem like it's coming off very good. Mm, not a fan, I'm not a fan of that shade. Yeah, this one is like a duochrome, but the formula I feel like it is not there on that one. Um, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go into Chance, which is another shimmer. It's on a duochrome, so this one swatches a little bit better. So I'm gonna take, since I wetted that one, I'm actually just gonna take a clean one right here. Yeah, this is coming off on the brush a lot better. Oh yeah, way better. Yeah, that shade's a dud in there. Is pretty my skin is looking so dry I don't know if it's that powder I don't think it's the foundation I just need to really drench my face in some fix plus you know what I just got stuck in my head right now like I'm literally here applying eyeshadow and I'm like going like this and I'm like baby shark do 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 oh my god it's all I sing to Riley it's all I sing to her. It's how I get her to smile because she loves, loves it. I'm gonna go back into this brush right here, blend out these edges. Next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Hot Stuff, which is more of a kind of like a burnt peach right here, which I think will actually go pretty well with my dress. So I'm gonna take it on this brush very lightly and just put this in the outer corner. Now let's do the bottom of the eye. We're gonna go back into that shade Rest, which is that light coral shade. And I'm gonna run it underneath. Then I'm gonna take a flat definer brush because we need to add some deepness on this lash line. So I'm gonna go into Cinnamon right here, which is a kind of a warmish brown. I'm gonna take a different brown. I'm gonna go into this one right here and go into Thinker. I feel like a cooler tone I might like a little bit more. All right, so here's the eye look. Really fun, soft, still a little bit of color in there, but I think it kind of goes with the dress a little bit. I think it's pretty. So we're gonna go into a mascara for the bottom lashes. We're gonna use this next one, which is On The Rise Volume Mascara. So this is what the mascara looks like right here. Ooh, I like this wand. So here is the wand. It's not like too like, it's not too bushy to where it'll be really hard to get those bottom lashes. It's more of those like spiky ones, which I actually prefer because I feel like sometimes the bushy, like the really bushy ones tend to one, make more of a mess and clump up my lashes. It's actually really nice. It says volume, but oh, it's volume lift scara. I feel like it really lengthens, which is really nice. I really like that, okay. All right, so for, I'm gonna do a nude liner on the bottom waterline. I really love doing this. This is the Rimmel London waterproof one in nude. It's a scandalize. I'm gonna take this. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice and pigmented. It's actually really, really nice. It's nice and creamy and pigmented. I really like that so it doesn't tug at the eyes. So that's really, really nice. All right, so we're gonna go into lips. This color right here from Ardell is like really pretty, right? So I opened it up. Oh my God, it just fell right off. One, I wasn't expecting it to be so skinny. Like, I mean, come on, this is already done. It looks like that. It literally came right out of the pot and it smells like crayons. Oh, and it's like also slimy on the inside. And I just, like, I literally just took off the packaging. That's gross. Oh, I'm not putting that on my lips. God, <laughs> I guess Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is not the only one. My gosh, you guys, that drama with everything. Honestly, with that, I feel like she should just address things a lot quicker instead of waiting. I don't think that was smart on her part. I'm like gonna be talking while I try to find a lipstick. I know that she's probably trying to grab, get all her receipts of everything, probably go over to her lawyers of what she's gonna say in the video, to be honest, um, and also figure out what was going on at the labs because that's bad. That is so bad, which I'm kind of like shocked because there's so many bad lipsticks like in everyone's videos, PR packages, or just ones that you bought. There's so many bad ones. So how did that get passed? How did those get approved? Especially when there's like hairs inside of the lipsticks. That's a little weird. Like how, how did she miss that? I think it's like another thing is like I was watching the Michelle Fawn and Promise one and they were, 
doing the lipsticks and like Michelle had a very good thing. She, she hyped up about how long she's been working on these and perfecting the formula and testing them out. But it seemed like she didn't even like do that to be honest because they weren't holding up in the heat. They were melting. There were breaking, there were hairs in it. Like it's, it's everything like she was hyping it all up and said that she like perfected everything and was like waiting forever to like make the right formula when the formula ended up not even being that great. So it's just shocking. I just don't even know. I try to stay out of all that drama just because it's just ridiculous at this point, but wow. Just wow, I don't even know. These are really pretty. These are from NCLA. Those are gorgeous. I mean, even the coral one might be kind of pretty if I just lightly dab that. You know what? That's what we'll do. I'm gonna do the coral one on the outer parts and then I'm gonna take this one from Essence. Essence also has really good lipsticks. This is the Ultra Last Instant Color in 03 for Essence. And then this one from NCLA is Malibu Moments. Okay. So I applied it more heavenly, hev heavily, I applied it more heavily on the outer parts and I'm gonna take this one and pop this in the center. And then I'm gonna blend. Like so, that's actually really pretty. Boom, makeup look is done. I like the way that it turned out. Even though like not everything worked, I still like the way that it turned out. I love the coral shades. I feel like I get into a coral obsession every summertime. I had one really, really big. When that Too Faced peach collection came out, oh, I was like heavy in the peaches and the corals. But I think it turned out really pretty. I actually really like the lipstick. Um, one thing I can say though, is that my skin looks pretty dry. So I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the powder that I used. I sprayed a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus on there to see if I could like kind of fix it up and it definitely did help it. And I'm just taking my beauty sponge and like pressing it because I keep creasing right here. Yeah, other than that, I think these eyeshadow palettes right here from Makeup Obsession are so good. The only one that I had a problem with was with this shade right here, this Duo Chrome. It, it's very chunky and just not really great. So that's the only one that I had a problem with, but the others are just pure shimmer. That's the only duo chrome in this palette. So, I mean, it's not a deal breaker, especially if this palette's probably only $10 and 99 cents. Um, I'm gonna have it all linked down below. I'm gonna try to find it for you guys. I think they're sold at Target, uh, but I highly recommend them so far, so good. And I think this one will be really fun to play with as well with the blues and stuff. I think those will be stunning. I thought about doing blue on the bottom lash line, but I was like, you know what? Let's just stick with the peachiness. I've done a lot of blue lately, um, which is surprisingly, I can say that. I don't know. But yeah, so definitely very impressed with the shadows. I'm definitely gonna keep using them. But yeah, I think the only things are really like the powder. I wasn't a fan of, that one's a dud. This concealer honestly was a little drying. It's not very hydrating to the eyes. It's not very full coverage. So I would pass on this. And then I'm gonna have to try out this foundation again. So I will let you guys know in the future on if I like this or not. Cause I don't know if I'm creasing because of the foundation right now. So I definitely need to try this out on its own, but I like the primers, I liked everything else. So I think it was a good video overall. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below your favorite drugstore brands, your favorite drugstore products that I need to try out, like ASAP, because I'm gonna go and pick some more up. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video.